Good morning, folks. We've got key updates on core topics relating to cosmology, catastrophism, and some weather notes as well. Baby active regions bright across the south here. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star continuing that days of quiet we had forecast last weekend. The southern active regions are merely showing practice runs for later in the cycle, and the solar wind is entirely within calm range. Telemetry, indicative of the very quiet geomagnetic conditions. Well, folks, Texas and Louisiana are on alert this morning as Delta will make landfall today. By tomorrow, we'll know a lot about how hard the region was hit. Good luck to anyone listening from that area. Let's start the article slow and build a crescendo as first we've got NASA degrading their own satellite resolution to try to imagine what we'd see on a faraway star if it had crossing sunspots. Video and article linked below explaining how the various wavelength views tell them different things to look for. La Nina update next, and we've previously gone over the macro scale U.S. conditions, but let's get the latest worldwide graphic on precipitation effects from La Nina as it has settled in and is forecast to remain throughout the winter and at least into the spring. Folks, we've got a big update in cosmology. The better we see the heavens, the better scientists can test their models, and it turns out they needed to study more. They tried to ignore the small aspects of the cosmos a number of different ways with different configurations and mixes of stellar ages, but it turns out you have to start doing the harder math and modeling to account for all the small stuff. While this is not the finish line, the fact that they begin to add in the smaller dust and nova elements and all of a sudden their models start making more sense is no coincidence. Once they did it the first time, they continued the process and realized, oh my, we've got to do this everywhere. Folks, this is a bit more than a baby step, more like a toddler's leap in the right direction towards the plasma cosmology, where the little things matter. Our plasma cosmology movie is linked below, and I promise, if you get to minute 45, what you hear next will shatter your faith in mainstream astronomy. Yes, it gets better as our penultimate story today hits the Lachamp geomagnetic excursion and details the improper time dilation in analysis that carbon dating provides. We now have a better idea about the warping of time due to carbon dating uncertainty, and it will force a harder look at the extinction of the Neanderthal. Of course, these are paramount studies given the fairly regular recurrence of magnetic excursions on this planet, the extinctions that come with them, and we are not only due for another one now, but Earth's magnetic field is shifting, weakening, and accelerating as we'd expect upon approach to the next age of Earth. Last but not least, folks, we follow up the proof of single recurrent nova stars and intermittent accretion triggering with a number of single white dwarfs with debris and gaseous disks. One of them recently underwent an infrared outburst. That outburst is the micro version of a type 1a supernova from accretion. We not only see progenitors of the recurrent nova with their feeding material around them, not in a second star, but they even caught one in outburst mode. I hope the science has made it clear here in 2020. You just need the sharp change in space environment, the accumulation, and one surrounding our solar system right now, helping to trigger the ongoing shift. Folks, we are nearing the end of Space Week and it's the last chance to enter to win a free MOVA globe, one given away to the Observers Group every day this week. Follow that link below the video. We greatly appreciate your support, both the Plasma Cosmology movie and the full breakdown of everything relating to the disaster cycle we're starting again now can be found in the video description box and at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.